Hi, my name is Jamie, and today I'm going to tell you the main skills and rules involved in the game volleyball. Volleyball is an intense sport which requires great skill and great teamwork. Now I will tell you the requirements needed for this sport. The game is played on a volleyball court 18 metres long and 9 metres wide, divided into two 9 by 9 metre halves by a 1 metre wide net placed so that the top of the net is 2.43 metres above the centre for men's competition and 2.24 metres for women's competition. These heights are varied for veterans and junior competitions. There is a line 3 metres from and parallel to the net in each team court, which is considered the attack line. This 3 metre line divides the court into back row and front row areas. These are in turn divided into 3 areas each. These are numbered as follows, starting from area 1, which is the position of the serving player. After each team gains the serve, its members must rotate in a clockwise direction with the previous player from area 2 moving to area 1, and so on, with the player from area 1 moving to area 6. Now I will tell you the main rules involved with this sport. To get play started, a team is chosen to serve by a point toss. The person serving who is in position 1 will throw the ball in the air and hit it, hoping that the ball will go over the net and into the opponent's court. The receiving team would have no more than 3 contacts to return it. The first contact would usually be the dig, which would usually be digged to the setup. The setup would then set the ball to either position 3 or 4, which is the middle or outside, hoping that the spiker hits the ball so that the opposing team can't even return the ball back to the receiving side. When the ball contacts the floor or an error is made, the team that didn't make the area is given one point. The first team to score 25 points wins a set, and there are usually five sets in a proper game. I will now show you the main skills involved with volleyball. Digging is the ability to prevent the ball from touching one's court after a spike or attack, particularly a ball that is nearly touching the ground. In many aspects, this skill is similar to passing or bumping. Overhand dig and bump are also used to distinguish between defensive actions taken with the fingertips or with joined arms. It is varied from passing, however, that is, it is much more reflex-based skill, especially at higher levels. It is especially important while digging for players to stay on their toes. Several players choose to employ a split step to make sure they're ready to move in any direction. Some specific techniques are more common in digging than in passing. A player may sometimes perform a dive, i.e. throw his or her in the air in a forward movement in an attempt to save the ball and land on his or her chest. When the player also slides his or her head under the ball that is almost touching the court, this is called a pancake. The pancake is frequently used indoor, for in, used in indoor volleyball, but rarely ever used in beach volleyball because uneven and infirm nature of the sand court limits the chances of the ball making a good clean contact with the hand. When used correctly, it is one of the more spectacular defense volleyball plays. The set is usually the second contact that the team makes with the ball. The main goal of setting is to put the ball in the air in such a way that it can be driven by an attack into the opponent's court. The setter coordinates the offensive movements of the team and is the player who ultimately decides which player will actually attack the ball. As with passing, one may distinguish between an overhand and a bump set. Since the former allows for more control over the speed and direction of the ball, the bump is used only when the ball is low and it can, can't be properly handled with fingertips, or in beach volleyball where rules regulating overhead setting are more stringent. The attack, also known as the spike, is usually the third contact a team makes with the ball. 
The object of attacking is to handle the ball so that it lands in the opponent's court and cannot be defended. A player makes a series of steps, jumps and swings at the ball. Ideally, the contact with the ball is made at the apex of a hitter's jump. At the moment of contact, the hitter's arm is fully extended above his head and slightly forward, making the highest possible contact while maintaining the ability to deliver a powerful hit. The hitter uses an arm swing, wrist snap, and a rapid forward contraction of the entire body to drive the ball. A bounce is a slang term for a very hard spike. A player stands behind the inline and serves the ball in an attempt to drive it into the opponent's court. His or her main objective is to make it land inside the court. It, also, it is also desirable to set the ball's direction, speed and acceleration so that it becomes difficult for the receiver to handle it properly. A serve is called an ace when the ball lands directly in the court or travels outside the court after being touched by an opponent. Get to the setup. 